Alright, so boom, my name is Kip, and we're back with more Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. The campaign continues. On the last episode, we had quite the ordeal with the one boss. You know the one. But after many attempts, we got through it. And so we progressed the story, man. And apparently, I got some kind of spirit of coral in my head who claims to be a native Rubiconian. So, we gotta see what that's about. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to it. Yeah, got me some new weapons, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on, you feel me? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Got me a machine gun. Got some new joints. What's the same thing? Oh, a missile launcher. That's the shotgun. That's the pile bunker. I like having a sword. Interesting. I already have a missile launcher. It's like, I don't need all that. I might need that though. Ooh, oh, that's a big chunk. Oh wait, I was supposed to put that on. <laughs> I gotta pay attention to things that I have. All right, baby, I done gave my boy a little makeover, you feel me? So we are gonna take him out. As you can see, gave him a little, you know, wash and paint, a little paint job, you feel me? All right, on to some missions. Here's the request for Malum Industries. They want you to carry out an advanced survey of the central ice field. To confirm the information Walter brought to them about the coral convergence. As for how to cross the Aurean Ocean, this is the intercontinental cargo launcher installed on the upper level of grid 086. You could use it to launch your AC to the ice field. Oh. Grid 086 is occupied by the dozers, outlaws who treat coral like a drug. Oh. It's also the territory of a belligerent group of arms dealers who call themselves RAD. Be rad. Y'all ain't rad. I'll be here to support you, Raven. Let's get it. Commencing infiltration to grid 086. Creating backdoor into system. Deactivating lock on vertical catapult. Connecting steam cylinders. Launch. We.
head stop. But uh, no. You know, RAD loves a good welcome party. Come on in and let's get acquainted. How curious. What are you? Who's next? After I beat one dude, everything seems like a cakewalk now. <laughs> You can see enemies that don't see you. Well, sir. I'm not going this way. This way. I was like clearing out everything in the area. Where am I going? What's up here? I thought there was something up here. I was just mistaken. Uh, anyway. Uh, it's my dally. I 
only thing with this is you don't have a whole lot of control over your movement. You just be drifting around a lot. missiles don't hit nothing because you in this enclosed space and you shooting up <laughs> nope sure can't unless it's me that's what I'm saying I should have hired me I would have got you your money's worth <laughs> you can just punch him. That's funny. <laughs> Once your <laughs> ammunition is gone, you can just punch him. them in their face like mm. tricked me. I was misled. I was bamboozled. Led astray. Oh. 
them on or something. I just gotta pay attention. What's going on? That's all. That's all. figure something out here. We got some things to figure out. Figured out a strategy to get it down. It ain't the best. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. You feel me? We gotta strategize. <laughs> I tried to charge him. I got this, yo. This ain't gonna be the last boss. <laughs> I was trying to put boy in the dirt. I was trying, but I got it. I got it now. I gotta stop playing. Told you. 
told you I was going to fix you. That took entirely too long to figure out. Look at them expenses. Took my money, man. I don't appreciate that. No new messages. Raven, we've received a job from RAD's leader, Carla. Oh, she's the leader. This could just be another one of her traps. After the impression you left on her last time, I think it's unlikely. Let's take a look at the briefing. Mm hmm I need upgrades. Yeah, I definitely need upgrades, boy. Unlocks boost kick. Activate assault armor. Oh. Pulse armor. Terminal armor. Oh, okay. System unlock. Boost kick weapon bay, allowing shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons. Ah, quick turn. For real? I can't quick turn? Boost kick. That's like a dynamic entry or some shit. I could buy it, but I can't wear it because this is more. Yeah, this offers more health. This offers a lot more health. This offers the least amount of health. Generator output adjustments. Yeah, I gotta figure out what all of this means. I've been playing for so long. We'll figure it out. Ah, my favorite little tourist. About my promise to take you up top. I need a little help cleaning up first. You see, a certain someone smashed up all my defense hardware. And now I've got rival dozers muscling in. It's the Junker Coyotes. We never did get on. Always sniffing around and snapping at our heels. <sighs> They're dull company, tourist. Everybody called me something different, but nobody calls me by my name, which is Kip, not Raven, or 621. Kip, please, thank you. But at least they know quality workmanship. Anyway, you know the score. You made this mess, now you get to clean it up. Well, technically I'm asking you to make a whole new mess. Ah, whatever. You know what to do. Now get out there. Are you paying me for this? I not like this. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get rolling, tourist. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. They're already moving in, Let's handle Consider it done. Consider them handled. I usually ever am. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. 
you got? <laughs> you gotta figure that out, baby. Really? Who's next? Like it's over. Guess I was right to pick you for the job. Oh, that's it? And now it's my turn to help you. I know that ain't it. Oh, for real? <laughs> well, that was light work. I thought I was finna have a challenge. Got Carla. Guess you noticed nope. that job from Balaam and decided to take it. I see you're heading for the cargo launcher now. Not a bad idea, I'll give you that. Keep heading for the ice field. I'll take care of some loose ends in the meantime. Aye, aye, Walter. Go. We're continuing through Grave 086 toward the Intercontinental Cargo Launcher. As promised, Carla has agreed to serve as our guide. I'm not sure how safe it is to trust a dozer. But if we use and development. We turn her knowledge down as well. One more thing, Raven. Cinder, Carla's nickname. That's what the Rubiconians call survivors of the fires of Ibis. Oh. But if the fires happened half a century ago, well, it could just be some dozer inside joke. <laughs> People don't just get names like that for no reason. You know who she reminds me of? The one character from Halo. I forget her name. The blue chick. Here we go, tourist. I'll lead the way, just as promised. It'll come to me. After this, you owe me one. Or even a ghost. She reminds me of a ghost from Destiny. Huh. 
Oh, shit. not playing. It was not playing at all. Alright. I need to get over there expeditiously. Yes, please. Give me some. Give me some refreshment. Some replenishment. Yes, thank you. Oh man. Oh lord. We got another one, people. We've got another troublemaking boss. We gonna we gonna fix him just like we fixed the last one and the one before. I got something for you. Maybe I should have evaded. <laughs> Clearly, if I get too far, he gonna run me down. And there's nothing I can do to avoid that in this.
He be shooting the shit out of me. Oh, it flies. Focus on evasive action. At that point, what should I do? Evade, obviously, but what exactly am I evading? I need to take time. Observe. figure out the second stage. I can get past the first stage. So technically now, that's the third phase. Inside. So close. Oh, I know I got them now. It seems like plasma weapons are superior to regular weapons just because they're so effective at stunning the opponent. At least in my experience. So close, so close. I got him. I got him. I swear I got him. All right. We got this.
Bam. That's what I'm talking about. So, whoo. All right, moving on. <laughs> they did not want me to win, but I won regardless. Brace yourself. I tell you, man, these bosses are no joke, man. From software, you gotta chill, yo. supposed to me oh and one more thing you know the cargo launcher strictly for cargo right no one's ever used it to launch themselves before at least not in one piece what the fuck So is the coral like their life force? That's what it seemed like. Walter was correct in his judgment. The coral, it's here in this desolate place. Cortana, that's her name. It just hit me. She reminds me of Cortana. Now what? Augmented human, C4621, entering standard mode. Two new messages. Looks like you've made it to the central ice field, 621. Good. I'm done tying up loose ends. Archibus found their own way in and are ready to deploy survey squads. How they find their way in? Looks like Balaam's come running after you scoped out the place, too. Oh my god. You know what's going to happen. Business as usual. After all the work but I did to get there. Make it work for us. Man. Niggas trifling. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. D rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. These correspond to the middle ranks. We invite you to further hone your technique. Well, I think I would do it head off. Uh, off stream, off video. You know. Or maybe I'll record it. Nest, with no obvious clues about its purpose. 
From what I can tell, it's a special mercenary support program. Encrypted and kept secret. I've installed a back door, so you'll have no trouble getting in as you please. Thank you. New parts. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Can be charged to fire burst shot. Anyway, man. I will do more uh, looking into those weapons and parts in own time. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. This has been another episode of Armored Core 6 Fires Rubicon. We had a difficult time with the spider boss and with that other furnace volcano looking motherfucker but we got past him and the story continues and it's kind of interesting i don't think i fully grasped the gravity of it yet but you know i'm a mercenary i uh, do things for money uh there's a liberation party uh, i even do stuff for them and apparently they're fighting to preserve Rubicon. Maybe, maybe not. I've uh, made a spiritual, mental contact with a Rubiconian who is like wispy in the, the, the ether. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just continue to uh, play through in order to make sense of all of this. Where's this going? It's all kind of shrouded in mystery. Like, who is Walter? And where's this bitch Cinder at? So I could slap the shit out of her for, you know, putting me through all of this. <laughs> anyway, that's it, man. I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe and turn on them notifications so you know whenever I pop up with a new video. My name is Kip. I'm signing off. Appreciate y'all. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.